Welcome to the Bartel family of companies training video for the SP8 gas scarifier. In this video we're going to go over some basic operations and equipment care procedures as well as how to set up the unit and achieve the best results when using it. In order to begin using the unit, the operator must ensure that the unit is fully raised to its maximum height. This allows the tooling to clear the surface before starting the machine. To start scarifying, lower the machine until contact is made with the surface. Pull the machine back over the surface and inspect the depth of the pass. When removing any type of surface, the maximum cutting depth per pass should not exceed 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch. Removing more than this will result in damage to the cage or the machine. To prevent uneven surface reduction, be sure to operate the machine in a gentle zigzag pattern to reduce creating rutting or deep grooves. To remove the tooling cage from the machine or to access the bottom of the unit for inspection, tip the machine forward. When removing the cage and tooling from the unit, first start by removing the shaft cover. Attach a 1 inch socket wrench to the shaft. Using a metal tool, insert the tool into the cage to prevent the tooling from moving when removing the shaft's bolt. To loosen the bolt, you must turn the bolt in a clockwise pattern. When the shaft is fully loosened, remove the shaft while supporting the tooling cage. This concludes the basic training video for the SP8 gas scarifier. For more detailed information on the use, operation and care of this unit, please refer to the user's manual.